فلنس علم الذين ارسل اليهم ولنس علم المرسلين This small ayah is very profound regarding the basic philosophy of Quran. What is the institution of messengerhood? Falanas alan aladina ursila ilayhim. We will surely, definitely question them also to whom we sent the messengers. Falanas alan al mursalin, and we shall question the messengers also. I told you, al Rabbu Rabbun wa intanazal, wal Abdu Abdun wa intarqa. Messengers are accountable. And this is very logical. If you send a message to some friends of yours, do this work by tomorrow evening. Otherwise, I will have to sustain some loss. Please do it before that time. And the work is not done. The loss has come to you. Now you are furious. You go to the friend. I sent you a message. You have to do it. Why didn't you do it? Who is responsible for the loss that I have sustained? And if he says only one sentence, brother, your message didn't reach me; it was not conveyed to me. Can you say another word to him now? Now your anger will be directed towards the person to whom he had entrusted the message to convey to him. I will go to him. Look here, what have you done? I entrusted you with a message. You had to convey it to him. You didn't convey. So now you are responsible for the loss that I have sustained. Isn't it logical? The same is the logic of this ayah. Allah sent His message to a messenger. Now it was His duty to convey it. If supposedly He fails to convey, now who is to blame? The people will go scot free. Oh, Allah! He didn't, he didn't convey the message to us. They will go scot free. The whole blame will come on whom? The messenger. And if he has conveyed, well, he is relieved of his duty. Now they will be questioned. Alam yatekum rasulun min rabbikum? Didn't they convey to you our message? Yes. Alu bala varambena. The message came to us. So this is actually this is called shahada. That is why we read in Surah Al-Maidah, Ya Yuhar Rasul, Balig ma anzul alayka min Rabbi ko illa anta fal fala fama balak tari salata. Oh, Messenger of Allah, convey everything that has been sent to you from your Lord. And if you fail to do it, then you will not have fulfilled your responsibilities as Messenger of Allah. يا أيها الرسول بلغ ما أنزل إليك من ربك وإن لم تفعل فما بلغت رسالته. And that is why you know on the occasion of the last pilgrimage, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم took a testimony from the whole of the audience, more than hundred thousand people, hundred and twenty thousand, hundred and twenty-four thousand. After giving the finishing touches to his message in his sermon, the sermon of the last Hajj, then he asked a question from the audience: "Allah al balaghtu, have I conveyed to you the message?" And the whole congregation replied in a chorus, one voice: "Inna nashadu an nakat balaghta wa daeta wa nasakta." We bear witness to it. We testify. You have done your duty. You have conveyed the message. Then he raised his eyes and with his fingers he pointed towards the sky and then to the audience. Allahumma shad, Allahumma shad thrice. Oh Allah, be a witness to it. They are accepting. They are testifying that I have conveyed the message to them. And then the last, fal yubal lagi shahidul ghaiba. Now the burden. Has come from shoulder, my shoulder to yours. Now it's the duty of those who are present here to convey it to those who are not present here. And this includes all the human beings who were living at that time, and all the human beings who are to come in this world till the doomsday. This is the duty of the ummah to convey to them. If the ummah fails to do the duty, it is to blame on the day of judgment. 
and the nations of the world will be able to sue us against sue against us oh allah they were the custodian they never conveyed the message to us this is fala nas'alan alladhina ursila ilayhim wa nas'alan almursalin now we are mursal don't misunderstand me because rasul what does it mean messenger muhammad was the messenger of allah and the umma is the messenger of the messenger of allah these words were used by muhammad sallallahu himself when you know hazrat imad ibn jabal was being sent to yemen as a governor and the prophet asked him what will you do if a matter comes before you for decision he said i'll decide according to the quran book of allah what if you don't find anything in the quran then i will decide it by your sunnah then if the, if you don't find anything in sunnah also then what will you do so much tahedo then i'll try my best to have a formal opinion and the prophet said alhamdulillah and he gave him you know chabash allazi waffaqa rasula rasulillah who has given you know this capacity to the messenger of the messenger of allah so actually he was an emissary of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad was an emissary of allah so he was the emissary of the emissary of allah so actually this is the whole ummah is rasul in that sense not one individual the whole ummah collectively is the rasul of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we must look to our responsibilities wal fala nas'alan alladhina ursila ilayhim wa nas'alan almursalin fala naqussana alayhim bi ilmin wa ma kunna ghaibin and then we shall relate to you with our knowledge and we were not absent what was happening when when nu was preaching to the people we were not absent we were watching what is happening what nu is doing when muhammad was preaching in the streets of makkah sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah was watching seeing what my bondsman is doing and what he has to bear for my religion for my deen for my message how what hardships he is undergoing then we shall all relate wal waznu yawma idun al haq and the weight will be decisive on that day this uh, these wording can be translated in two ways haq only truth will have the weight falsehood will not carry any weight and the other only the weight will be decisive what does it mean faman saqalat mawazinuhu fa ulaika humul muflihun so whosoever has you know his scales are heavy the scales of the good deeds if they are heavy then for they they are the people who will be who will be flourishing who will be successful waman khaffat mawazinuhu and whose scales of good deeds are light they don't come up to the minimum at least minimum required fa ulaika alladhina khasiru anfusahum they are the people who have destroyed themselves who have put them and their own themselves in loss bima kanu bi ayatina yuzlimun in what they were you know doing wrongly treating wrongly our revelations our ayat behaving wrongly with it reacting wrongly towards them wa laqad makkalnakum fil ard and oh mankind we have established you on our earth this this is a settlement divine settlement we have settled you in our earth laqad makkalnakum fil ard wa ja'alna lakum fiha ma'ish and we have produced in this earth for you the livelihoods different types of livelihoods someone is telling the land and he is earning through it somebody is doing some other work and he is burning through it all sorts of ma'ish ma'ishat ma'ish that's the plural so we have put in this qalilan ma tashkurun but it's very little that you are grateful you are only grateful very seldom 